Hey, fellas. Yeah, I've been working out. Uh, got some uh, after midnight to show you. But uh, here I'm working out. I'm doing box squats. And uh, they really help out. You can't just, at least I can't. I'll burn out. So uh, you got to change change a little bit of the movement. And box squats is a good, uh, I don't know if you call it a necessity, uh, a different replacement for when you, you squats. And you think, let me do something different because I'm kind of plateauing. Do your box squats, man. I'm telling you, a few days later, I mean, my hamstrings and glutes are tired. They can soar. So this works that part of your or two rather than a regular squat. So it's also, now when you come back down there, I'm relaxing right there. My legs are unflexed. So it's like coming from a, you know, like a pin press kind of thing. It's like from a dead, you know. Once you get down there, you relax. And you fire up again. You gotta lean forward a little bit and then push up. And somewhere in that movement, it really flexes the glutes and the hamstrings. Hamstrings. Ham hamstrings. <laughs> hamstrings. A lot. So that's what I've been doing. And it's nice that the music wasn't on. So, uh, you know, I got no copyrights and you can hear me banging the plates. So it's nice to just see it go. I was just watching, do I, do I just let it run just without any uh, voiceovers because uh, it was nice hearing the band, the plates banging and everything. That's what I usually do. This was uh, somewhere around 3 a.m., you know, after 2 a.m., put it that way. And, uh, yeah, so everything's going along. I've got about 12 weeks to the next meet. And uh, now, if I can do this with, uh, let's say, every two weeks, I put five pounds. I don't even know it's two or five. That'll get me in it because my squat's really weak, and I have problems when I hit uh, ass to the grass because of the hernia. The, it's right there, and it, you know. So you know, um, I got. I guess it's gonna limit my amount. But either way, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Because, like I said, uh. I'm ranked fourth or fifth now in the world for 2024. Seven to 74. My weight, 217, which is 220 uh, division. And then doing just a 275, I do reps with that now. So that's just for bench. My toe is never going to get as easy. There's a lot of guys there, leg men, and I'm a bench guy, you know? But that don't mean I'm not going to do legs. If you think you can do legs, then do it. Because it's good for you. See, I'm just doing it slow. Let's see how you can relax. Let's see how you relax down. So I went down. All right, I kind of watch. See, now relax. Then I got to see that kind of answer I showed you from this side. I want to show you. It's different than a squat. But it's a definite good accessory, so to speak. A replacement. You know, in that line of exercise, you can't keep doing the same thing every week, you know. You can, but being that I have my own limitations, this is really a good add addition to the squat routines. And that's about it with that. And I had a good workout. I'm not surprised how sore my, like I said, my uh, glutes and hamstrings are now. Yeah, I'm just making a point here. you got to write this stuff down. And don't tell me, oh, you don't need to. What did you do last week? Really? How many sets? When? How much? Uh, three weeks ago, do you remember what you did? Remember when you did that PR? Uh, somewhere three months. No, no, when was it? That kind of thing, see? I can always go back and see what I did. What am I doing? Oh, yeah, the Super Duke 135. It was 135 was sore. It was painful, so I don't know what that was going on. So you'll notice that I started, okay, I did a few. So I put it back up on the rack and then I uh, changed my uh, grip widths to see what's going on here. Uh, even last night I didn't put that one up. They were caught in the court last night. But the same thing, but uh, I uh, warmed up enough that it was all right. I gotta show you what I do with the rubber bands because it helps, it really helps out warming up. You gotta warm up them shoulders if you've got those kind of shoulders, you know what I mean? That's what I gotta tell you. If you got them kind of sore shoulders, warm them up. The different grips is another uh, uh, accessory too. 
You go in there one night and you just do what I'm doing on the first set here, that's what you do. Work your up way up to, I don't know, 225 maybe, I would do. And then just do the three different grips. I usually just do the two. I do the one, that's normal. And the one with the thumb touching is soft, that's close enough for me. Because I do other stuff on the other bench with the dirty 30s for my triceps, with the dumbbells. And uh, 225 set, There's still I'm warming up basically. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna start working. So I had to switch over to some more reps last night on the bench because it's getting sore, sore. But I still work my way up to 275. But uh, I made sure I dropped it and uh, worked uh, a lower rep, I mean, a higher rep with a lighter weight. But so that the uh, you know how you say 70% of it or whatever, so that it that reps would give me near my PR. Which is what? I don't know, 280? <laughs> I don't know what my PR is. I gotta go. That's another thing. I, your PRs are obviously changing. If I'm doing 275 for two, that ain't my PR like I did at the meet. 275 when it bees, you know, boom, like that. So I obviously need, uh, my PR has changed. Now, do I use the two together and calculate on that thing on the internet what my PR is? I got graphs at home too. Do I do that? Or do I try doing what? 285 or 290, 295, I don't know. Maybe at the end of the month. Cause it kinda changes the whole workout. Cause once I'm working for a PR, I usually just do a few singles, you know, moving my way up. I don't really try. I really don't do a normal pyramid scheme. But anyhow, that's what I did, fellas. Good workout. Uh, I'll catch you on the flip side. Let you hear the bang in the plates. I love that sound.